What's up guys, it's James Allen, the out-of-state investor, and recently I've noticed a trend of more and more influencers and YouTubers talking about investing in different kind of altcoins and cryptocurrency. And this is pretty common whenever cryptocurrency starts doing really well, you start to see more and more content like this, but I thought today I'd like to share my personal opinion on investing in altcoins. Now I've been able to invest in cryptocurrency since about the summer of 2017. I've been able to see some major ups, some major downs along the way, but but for this video, I spent hours analyzing the top altcoins of 2017, and I was really surprised with what I found. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you exactly where these altcoins are at today, just how risky of an investment this is in general, and whether or not you may have just been better off going with Bitcoin from the start. But before I get started, do me a favor and smash that like button, and if you haven't already done so, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to watch more videos like this, and with that said, Let's jump into it. All right, so I was browsing on the internet the other day and I saw a lot of influencers talking about cryptocurrency and altcoins and it had me thinking, I wonder what the top altcoins were back when I got started investing in cryptocurrency back in 2017. Now for those who don't know, you can actually go on CoinMarketCap and look at the historical charts all the way back to 2013. They actually have a week by week chart in terms of ranking the cryptocurrencies from back then. So you can actually go back to 2017 to see the ranking of the coins of what they were back then. And so what I decided to do was go back to December 31st of 2017, right in the height of the crypto boom. So for those of you who remember, back in 2017, Bitcoin started booming like crazy back in November of 2017, all the way through December, early mid-December of 2017. And then after that took place, then the altcoins started kicking in all through the mid to end of December and even early parts of January of 2018. But anyways, here's a list of the top 20 coins from December 31st, 2017. And it was kind of interesting to look at this because number one was Bitcoin. I mean, that's pretty much a given. But number two at this point was XRP. For those of you who remember, XRP had a meteoric rise at one point and it actually ended up passing Ethereum for the number two spot for a little bit of time. Now, XRP was number two, Ethereum was number three, number four was Bitcoin Cash, and number five was Cardano. Number six was Litecoin, seven was IOTA, eight was NEM, nine was Dash, and number 10 was Stellar Lumens. Number 11 was Monero, number 12 EOS, number 13 was NEO, number 14 was Quantum, and number 15 was Bitcoin Gold. Number 16 was Verge, number 17 was Tron, 18 was Nano, 19 was Ethereum Classic, and number 20 was now for the sake of this video, whenever I refer to altcoins, I'm not referring to Bitcoin and I'm also not referring to Ethereum because Ethereum is also one of the most widely known cryptocurrencies, normally seen as the number two cryptocurrency. So anyways, with that said, I was curious to see where are these altcoins at today. And out of those 18 altcoins in the top 20, only three of those altcoins are currently in the top 20 today. And that's XRP, Cardano, and Litecoin. I also took the time to look at each individual coin how much it reached value-wise in the 2017-2018 crypto boom, how much it crashed down to, how much it's gone up to since, and what the current value of each of these cryptocurrencies are. Well, what I ended up finding out was actually very interesting. You see, only four of the 18 altcoins ever reached back to their high of 2017 and 2018, which means that 14 of the 18 altcoins have never done that in the last four years. I also found that only two of the 18 altcoins are currently sitting at a higher value than they were at their 2017 high, and those two coins are Cardano and Ethereum Classic. So basically, if you were gonna pick one of those 18 altcoins in the height of the 2017 crypto boom, the odds of actually having the value go up in the next four years was only 11%. Now that's assuming that you actually had diamond hands and you were willing to hold for the long run and you weren't getting caught up in the fear with the crash going on and everything like that because the reality is, is right after that crypto boom came one of the biggest crashes of all time and the average loss, the average loss of those 18 altcoins was 96.5% of their value. So in other words, if you would have invested $10,000 across the 18 altcoins, 
Bitcoins back then in the crypto boom, you would have lost $9,650 of that 10 grand. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, pretty much all cryptocurrency did that. And to some extent, you're gonna be right about that. I mean, Ethereum didn't do much better. It lost about 93.8% of its value during the crash. But the one coin that did significantly better than all the altcoins during the crash was Bitcoin. Bitcoin only lost 82.7% of its value. And I know only 82.7%, that's still a lot of money to lose. But at the same time, compared to the top 20 altcoins losing on average 96.5%, that's still a lot better in comparison. So with that said, where we're at today is Bitcoin and Ethereum have more than tripled the value of where they were at their 2017 high. And by comparison to the other 18 altcoins, remember, if you remember what I said, only two of the 18 altcoins are currently at a value that's anything above what they were at in 2017. In fact, if you took the 18 altcoins from back then and average out the current value of those coins, they're actually worth about 39.5% of the value of what they were back in 2017. And if you took the last nine, the bottom half of those 18 altcoins, it's even worse. They're worth about 30.8% of their value from back in 2017. You see, I think it's interesting that a lot of these cryptocurrency investors on social media and just general influencers are talking about being invested in these tiny altcoins for the long run, when in reality, the odds of them being successful long term are very, very small. So I would say, honestly, in my opinion, that these coins are much better short term plays if you can catch it at the right time versus them being good long term plays. Now, of course, there's always exceptions to the rules and there's going to be that one altcoin that does really well in the long term. But in general, the odds are very low. And as you go down the list, because this is the top 20, don't forget, as you go down the list, the odds get worse and worse and worse of them actually turning out to be good long term investments. For instance, I decided to take a look at 10 coins ranked from 191 to 200 at the same time period in this December 31st period to see, well, what were the results of those coins? Well, out of those 10 coins, not even even one coin has gotten anywhere close, and I mean anywhere close, to their previous 2017 high. You see, two of those coins aren't even showing any activity at all on coin market cap, and for the other eight, on average, their current value is only 2.7% of what their value was in 2017. So if you would have taken $10,000 and invested them across those 10 altcoins, today you'd be sitting on about $270. So anyways, the reason I bring up all these numbers, and I understand it's a lot of numbers, I'm bringing up, but at the end of the day, what I want to communicate to you guys is understand the risks that are involved. I think a lot of people seem to have the idea that you just stay in the coin long enough, it's eventually going to go back up, and honestly, that is really not the case for a lot of these altcoins. Investing in altcoins in general, even if it's a top 20 altcoin, is a very high risk investment. And not to mention, if you start investing in coins like Flocky Inu, where they're ranked like 2,700th, I mean, you're talking about the highest risk investment you can really talk about. I knew honestly the altcoins were risky before I did any of this research, but after doing this research, I feel like I'm so much more aware of just how risky these altcoins can be, especially as you go really far down the ladder. So anyways, I'm not trying to steer you away from these type of altcoins, these meme coins. There's nothing wrong with having a little fun, having a little money set aside for some of these things. You just don't want to bet your life savings on these kind of coins because the odds are just so not in your favor of them working out. So maybe a small pot is okay, but what I would really recommend if you want a safer bet with cryptocurrency, things like Bitcoin and Ethereum are the safest bets. They've been proven over the long run to outperform the majority of the altcoins, and that's because they're more fundamentally sound. There's a real purpose for them. So those are all things you want to consider if you're investing in cryptocurrency. So anyways, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you gained some insight today. I know I gained a lot of insight when I did this research, so hopefully you guys also enjoyed enjoyed that too. And with that said, if you did enjoy this video and you gained some value from it, do me a favor and smash that like button and also subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. Also, let me know in the comments below, are you investing in altcoins? Which altcoins are you investing in? Finally, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at The Out of State Investor. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.